Now, I was struck by a quote, which I think I posted on social media for ADHD Unlocked this week, which was, everybody talks about time being a really, really great healer. And yes, it is. But I think there's a much quicker route. And as ADHDers, we're quite impatient, aren't we? <laughs> so we like, oh, I can't be bothered to wait for time to heal me. I've actually found that acceptance and actually working actively on accepting your ADHD, accepting that you've had this past, accepting that, yes, it would have been different had you got diagnosed maybe at the age of 10 and how your life could have been different. But what is the point there of kind of going back and going, if only I'd have known, I wouldn't have chosen this, I wouldn't have chosen this path, this wouldn't have happened. You just have to accept where you are right now, accept how it has made you strong, how it has impacted on all areas of your life right now and that you can't change it but actually my god looking forward it's going to be different once you accept it so that acceptance is quite a quick way so I don't know I've kind of come to this like realization this week that time isn't the greatest healer radical acceptance is <laughs> Sorry, I laugh, Mitch, because as soon as you said radical, it is that's free ADHD, isn't it? <laughs> and it works quite well. Yeah, we can yeah. do this because it's radical, it's instant. Um, but yeah, <laughs> no, but I know a lot of um, clients that I coach, uh, it, it, like some of them do have this uncanny ability once they decide something, like that mind shift, they can, whoosh, and it's so powerful and they can do it. I mean, that's not something I do easily. Um, but there are some ADHDs that they really resolve that that's it or and they're gonna this is the way they're gonna do it now and um that's quite powerful and if you do have that gift then yes make use of it and start accepting things um and i guess it's in that same vein of you know i don't know if you the buddhist teachings and things like that but that's surrender and acceptance um naming it to tame it um only focusing on those things that you can control because yeah you're right mish um the past is done it's done there's nothing we can do about it uh, beating ourselves up about it, it's not going to help. It's about, as Michelle said, um, accepting it, that it's happened and, and actually maybe being grateful because of what we've learned and how we'll, you know, we'll be able to grow from that and, and live better and be better and, and make conscious decisions from that place. So it's that combination, isn't it? Acceptance, understanding um, and compassion.